Don't be grill Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to basketball season. High school basketball has begun on the Western Slope. Four games are ongoing across the valley as it's the 36th annual Warrior Challenge. And first up, as you see the beautiful sign there at Central High School, first up is the Palisade Bulldogs. Love the new uniforms for Palisade. And of course, it's a new era for the Bulldogs, formerly the head coach at Central, John Sedanich, now the man at Palisade. Now in his senior season is LJ Ballinger with a nice dipsy do for two. It's gonna be a big season for Ballinger. Now it's Carter Hayward with the tough bucket inside. Hayward only a sophomore, but the Wildcats of Pueblo Central had plenty of size and athleticism. But Damian Davis with a pretty floater here. Now it's a nice feed down low to an open Isaiah Cass who has the finish as Pueblo dominated this third quarter after trailing by four at the half. Wildcats are up 11. Now Julian Garza at the buzzer. He drills it. So a positive finish to a tough second half for Palisade. They were outscored 28 to seven in the third quarter as Pueblo Central gets the win 66 to 59. But then it was time for the home team Central Warriors to hit the court. It is a new look Central team that replaces eight seniors from last year. Perhaps the sophomore Riley Hoyt is one to step up this season. A new head coach for Central, former Colorado Mesa basketball player Rod Pierce, hoping to lead the Warriors to a win in game one as Central takes on a tall Lutheran Lions team in the first bucket of the season. It is Mr. Hoyt. Hoyt, of course, also the quarterback for Central's football team. But boy, this Lutheran Lions team, they were tall and they were skilled as well, scoring from inside, scoring from outside as Lutheran dominates Central in their first game, 68 to 36. And for the first time ever, the Warrior Challenge is held at multiple gyms. And for good reason, the Fruta students, they were fired up to watch a team that went 25 and one last year. And how about the sweet Daniel Thomas in posters? No doubting the future Metro State Roadrunner is the star of the show at Fruta. 13 points and a few blocks on the night for DT. And now it's year two of the Michael Wells era to see and his cats have for an encore. Well, just check out Coach Wells dialing up the perfect play that gets his son, Jet Wells, wide open for the easy bucket. Game high 20 points for Wells. And how about this for an end to a quarter? A rejection by Stone Carver as the cats do it on offense and on defense as Fruta dominates Horizon 54 to 35 in their first game of the season. Meanwhile, the Grand Junction Tigers played the first basketball game ever in their new gym, but just as I arrived, this one went final. As Grand Junction falls to a very talented Monarch team, 64 to 41. But it wasn't just high school basketball. We had some college action as well, as both Colorado Mesa men's and women's teams see their four game win streak snaps snapped at the hands of the Mountain Lions of UCCS. Boy, an absolutely jam-packed night of hopes. And folks, basketball season is just getting started. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.